The phrase small farm business has definitely been used frequently recently. This is because entrepreneurs and rising business persons now view small farms as profitable ventures. But do you need some unique suggestions for things you can accomplish on your smaller scale farm? Number one, first up on the list, mushroom farming. Most people don't think about growing mushrooms. However, based on where you live, there could be a scarcity of supply and a high demand for them. Utilizing vertical space allows for significant production in a small space. Since mushrooms have a rapid growth cycle, a single room farm can produce loads, boosting your profits. Number two, coming in second, everything about microgreens. Microgreens are very popular since they are nutrient dense. It represents the phase of plant growth before they turn into young green plants and begin to transform into vegetables. They simply need a few weeks to mature and are incredibly nutritious and flavorful. You can start a small scale microgreens cultivation in your basement or greenhouse with just a few containers. Then the farm can expand when your expert and the demand for your product starts to rise. Number three, up next in third, marketing garden. A market garden is a modestly sized farm. Crops are typically sold directly to restaurants and customers, and most of the labor is done manually with minimal machines. A market garden may contain produce, cattle, plants, and flowers. Growing a market garden is a fantastic choice if you don't have access to dozens of acres of land. It's a terrific opportunity for individuals to return to the way of life that highlights staying off the farm without switching to being dependent on growing crops for a living. Number four, coming in fourth, permaculture. A sustainable agriculture system built on natural observation is a known as permaculture. It's all about collaborating with nature rather than fighting it. Understanding how various components of farming production connect is central to permaculture. Utilizing permaculture techniques allows you to cooperate rather than compete with nature. This implies that you can have nature do most of the tasks. Up next in fifth, forest gardening. Food is produced and grown in a forest garden within in a woodsy ecology. It entails cultivating various crops within the forest without extensively clearing any land. This is a possible land choice for those who live close to forests but lack access to their private flat farmable land. It includes various plants, including annual vegetables, nut and fruit trees, herbs, vines, and shrubs. It is claimed that this results in a more fruitful, healthier, sustainable, varied, and also more economical use of the land. Number six, up next in six, Sixth, hydroponics. Combining hydroponics, which involves vegetation without soil, and aquaculture, which involves raising fish or other marine mammals, in a symbiotic relationship creates aquaponics. Aquaponics can be adjusted to a wide range of capacities and difficulty levels, like most other agricultural techniques. Some examples of contemporary aquaponic systems include a fish raising tank, a hydroponic system for growing plants, or a sump to circulate water throughout the entire system. Number seven, seventh now, fruit farms and their many options. Considering that people consume fruits all over the world, why not begin a fruit farm? Your trees will handle the rest. All that is required of you is some basic upkeep and cutting. The best options include pears, peaches, apples, plums, and pears. And if you're not into trees, blueberry or raspberry bushes are a great option. Number eight, next up in eighth, urban farming. You don't have to settle permanently in a rural area to start your own mini farm. Producing, preparing, and serving food in cities and urban settings is known as urban farming. Getting the best use of your available area is the key to successful urban gardening. You can begin growing food in your garden, and as your plants grow, you might start growing on additional plots in your neighborhood. Number nine, coming up in ninth, micro diaries. Small scale dairy fields are known as micro diaries. If you possess grazing land, running these farms is simpler. Additionally, you'll be able to sell dairy goods created from milk, such as freshly made butter and cheese and even organic milk, building up step by step is essential for a micro dairy to be successful. Number 10, next up in 10th, meat farming? One of the reasonably sized farm startups is a small scale meat farm. Your limited meat farm can rear pigs, sheep, or cattle. Individuals are ready to pay more for the qualitative and clean meat small farms produce. In contrast to the other farms we have looked at, a meat farm has a greater startup cost. Number 11, Coming in 11th, nurseries for farming. By offering you an immediate effect on the planting season, a plant nursery aids in the operation of your own farm. Nurseries are scalable. You may start with the basics with absolutely no money and only a few seeds, clippings, and the ground you already own. With the extra room you have, you can also raise extra plants to export to other farms or home gardeners. Small plants will consistently be in demand. Number 12, up next in 12th, herb farming. Herbs are easily sold 
since they are used to make many different goods, basil, chives, parsley, lavender, catnip, and other plants are simple to cultivate. They are relatively simple to plant and can be grown with vegetables. Additionally, you can produce those herbs that repel insects so your vegetables will stay secure, in addition to being able to profit from the herbs as well. Number 13, coming up in 13th, bee farming. Bee farming can be started with very little money, starting at costs between $500 and $1,000. Additionally, it is among the most lucrative small farm startups. The farm can be used to make items including royal jelly, bee pollen, beeswax, or only honey. The public at large is reasonably familiar with all the listed commodities. To operate a bee farm, you must have safety clothing, the necessary knowledge, and all other beehive instruments because honeybees can sting ruthlessly. Number 14, up next in 14th, poultry farms. You only have to purchase young hens that will lay eggs to establish a poultry farm, then you can market the eggs to nearby diners and residents. Eventually, you can also trade the hen's meat. People gladly purchase the eggs and meat prepared on a small scale, since they are often seen as more pure. Then you can sell your eggs and chicks directly to customers, restaurants, or through farmer's markets. Number 15. Up next in 15th, Christmas farming? You may simply turn any vacant ground on your property into a Christmas tree farm if it is not suitable for crop cultivation, but because Christmas trees take longer to mature than other plants, you'll have to put in eight to nine years of effort to sow, flourish, and collect them. However, generally speaking, they don't demand a lot of labor. People frequently choose to trim their own Christmas trees, which requires less of your energy. Number 16, coming up in 16th, snail farming, an interesting, profitable farming idea. Escargos, which are a cleaned and cooked snail dish, are consumed by individuals all over the globe. There's an excellent demand for snails because they are shipped into the U.S. for around $4 million a year. Additionally, it's straightforward to develop the farm and feed snails. Snail farming is a low-investment small farm business idea because they consume leaves and other vegetation. In addition to escargot, other byproducts of snail farming compromise snail mucus, slime, that is utilized in cosmetics and snail eggs that are traded as snail caviar. Number 17. Up next in 17th, Fish farming? Fish farming is a small holding business idea that may be sealed. If you don't already have access to a source of water, consider purchasing an aquarium or fishing pond. The most popular farm fish are tilapia, cod, and catfish, all of which are also relatively simple to breed. Do a thorough study before investing in a fish farm, though, as the farm's income depends mainly on your ability to keep it running. Number 18. Following in 18th, should you consider starting a slaughterhouse business? Farmers acknowledge that there aren't sufficient slaughterhouses to sustain the agricultural business as it currently exists. Rather than growing vegetables on your farm, you might generate a part-time or full-time income by starting up a slaughtering business. Reliant on the city, you might require particular licenses and qualifications to run a slaughterhouse. You can charge a lot to slaughter a cow, which usually goes for $100 for half the cow or $200 for the whole cow. Number 19. Next up in 19th, corn mazes. Installing a corn maze in your field can be a terrific way to add value. Because you're not using all of the space that you have at your disposal, you'll miss some valuable harvests, though you can produce the bulk of your corn maze after it's all finished in the fall. You may make up for any decreased work by charging visitors to come and explore your maze. They'll frequently pause to purchase many of your additional plants and goods. Number 20, coming in 20th, petting zoos. Kids can engage with old and young goats, pigs, calves, mules, and swans in a petting zoo that you can put in place. Under oversight, you can can impose an admission fee and permit kid animal interaction. Then when your livestock are no longer valuable on the farm, you can turn a space into a petting zoo where they can live in peace. 21. Lastly, on the 21st, how is hydroponic farming done? In hydroponic farming, rather than rely on soil, plants are produced using nutrient-rich water that their roots are constantly in touch with. With hydroponic gardening, you can cultivate anything from herbs to microgreens to veggies and fruits. Additionally, its 20% boosts the speed of plant development. Hydroponics allow for cultivation of both full-size crops and culinary herbs. So, now you know everything you need to know about many small farming ideas. Which one is your favorite? Let us know in the comments and subscribe to the channel for more content similar to this. Thank you so much for watching.